What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the name. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you, blessing its name like it was one I of I know my duty to them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little Barst? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. What is going on, everybody? I hope you're all doing wonderful and having a fantastic day, you beautiful, lovely, wonderful, untamed human beings, individuals, whatever you like to call yourself. So that right there was the introduction to Horizon Zero Dawn. This will be a part of the series that I will be playing all the way through. I've actually wanted to beat this for a while. I've owned the game, uh, bought it on my PS4. Four? And then I bought it again it on PC the when they released it, which is what we are currently playing it on. Sorry for interrupting during the little talking and conversation, but she's gonna be talking this entire time. This is um this is on PC, maximum graphics, everything cranked up as high as it can go. And uh DLSS Quality. I said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. So I don't know exactly what happened or what's going on in this game. I've played a little bit of it. Not a whole lot. I didn't really get too far into it when I played it on the PS4. Um, but something up ahead. I played past the part where she's a kid, so I at least know what to do all the way up until uh, a little ways. I, I know a little ways. We'll leave it at that. There's something shiny. Metal door. Close. Maybe this device I found can help. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow.
Got it. He changed color. The door changed color too. But I hope y'all enjoy this series. If you do, then please, by all means, smack that like button. So right now we have... It's going to be this series, Bloodborne, and Stranded Deep. Those are going to be my current, what I cycle through, Minecraft as well. But um, the Minecraft content's a little bit older. squeeze through there. I'm thin, I'm tiny. I'm nimble. Go explore over here right quick. Let's see what this is. Play. Well, happy New Year, dear diary. Can you believe we actually celebrated last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. I don't know where she got the party hats. That was a Googler's touch. So there we sit watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. Hmm. I saw them lining up in the community room, like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipsis. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone anything anymore oh homie blew his brains out and Machu Picchu always wanted to see that why did they die here I never did what happened to them why didn't I go with Owen when he asked Stupid. Who called me here? 
All right. And pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. And well, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top kids. He found me. Ross found me. Down here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! Well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. Starting tomorrow, we will learn to hunt. <laughs>